I thought it was amazing. I've never seen anything like that. Going up and down the steps was very cool, because that I would yeah. think would be really hard, especially going back down the steps. That was cool. See it this close and how fluid it is, is insane. It's pretty insane. I felt almost an emotional connection with it, almost immediately. I could see how, you know, humans could definitely get attached on that level. I thought it was a wonderful piece of technology. The advancements have only seem to have gone further from the original. Just the capability of him is outstanding. For a minute there, like, you just wonder if there's actually somebody inside that thing, you know? And to see a robot get the movement in his arms and shoulders and all the joints it looks like a human to have, so it was... Yeah, I did not know robots were good <laughs> yeah. so. That Osmo was awesome. <laughs> Osmo was awesome, yeah, it was incredible. He's awesome. He is. <laughs> now, I think everybody should have one. <laughs> so, he will. So I'm going to stand right here. Okay, I don't want to block it. Welcome to Delight Cup, Mr. President. I'm Asimov, a humanoid robot. Here I go. Oh. I think it's... Okay. It's going to be pretty hard, huh? <laughs> if it hits me in the nose, it'll be terrible. <laughs> okay, come on, I'm ready. Right here? Here I go. It was a pleasure meeting you, Mr. President. Enjoy the rest of your visit. <laughs> 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 so, the, uh, where are you studying? Turns out, who I was about to meet wasn't actually a human, but a robot. Honda's famous humanoid robot, Asimo. Asimo has been designed to interact with humans, so if you reach out your hand, it will shake it. Sensors in its palm detect your touch, while cameras in its head track your movements. Asimo's stabilisation technology enable it to react if you upset its balance. Moving backwards mid-shake if you push it, or stepping in if you pull it towards you. Thank you very much. This latest version of Asimo is the product of almost three decades of development. It all started back in 1986 when Honda built a robot which could walk, albeit very slowly and clumsily. In 1988, it was developed to walk more like a human being, and in 1993, a torso was added. By 1996, Honda's robot had become intimidatingly large, so in 1997, it was shrunk to a less threatening size, thankfully, before being made autonomous. In 2000, Honda unveiled ASIMO, which stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility. Standing 130 centimetres tall, which is the same height as a seated adult, it's the perfect size for helping out around the home. Over the years, ASIMO has been constantly developed, and it's now mobile enough to play sports. However, it's wise to warm up before any physical exercise, even if you're a robot. And as well as run at six miles an hour, ASIMO can walk backwards and hop. You can also kick a ball, so time for a quick robot versus human penalty shootout. That's 1-0 to the Autobots. But is Asimo as good at saving a shot as it is at taking one? Ah, looks like Honda hasn't trained Asimo to be a goalkeeper just yet. Football is thirsty work, but thankfully Asimo can get you some refreshments. With hands that have 13 degrees of freedom, it's able to perform delicate tasks, such as opening a bottle and pouring a drink. This may be unremarkable for a human, but it's an incredible achievement for a robot.
In total, Asimo has 57 degrees of freedom, and this allows it to dance, while its 52 volt battery can keep it going for 40 minutes. Looks like this robot actually has better moves than some humans. Anyway, uh, enough of that. Well, Asimo, I've got to go now, but it was very nice to meet you, and don't forget to write, okay, or email, or whatever it is that robots do. ま、私は川田工業と産送研で共同開発されたロボット。ACRT4です。まず最初に私のハードウェアの特徴を見てきます。稼働管理を示す階層動作と70U があり、腕の動きを示す動作、拡張された次に音声認識を行います。右足を前に。荷物搬送ポーズ。version of the robot. Uh, it's a new version that we released last month uh, with improvement uh, requested as by some of, of our customers. For instance, we have longer arms, we have curved arms because customer wanted to have a larger working space. So, so this is how we designed this robot. So in this version, we improved the quality of the robot in terms of robustness, 
uh, we improved uh, the motion engine having a, a much smoother walking, uh, reliable and, and able to work on small obstacles like without falling down. Else. May I? No, keep quiet. After that, in terms of software, with some uh, face recognition engine, so we, uh, robot is able to recognize your face once he has learned it. Uh, picture recognition, image recognition, or this kind of thing that help turning him more interactive. You can see that. So very clear expression. But I want him to stop making noise during my speech. Can someone please switch on the light. So if we really want the robot to be able to help people, humanity, so we need to have uh, the robot accepted, casting positive effects. And this is a question of, of shape of the robot, this is a question of design, but it's more a question of uh, behavior. Hey, now! Tell us a story. Okay. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, the galaxy is living in dark times again. Here, here I will demonstrate the uh, uh, full manager. See the rock will and I will push him and crush him. So it's not very easy to see that, but when he when he feel that he was beginning to fall down, so he prepared himself. Hey! Are you insane? You could have hurt me. Tell me a little bit of your background. People are always asking that about finance. I, I didn't came from finance. I came from IT. I came from a, a, a hobbyist who was developing electronics or electronical system when I was young. So I already had developed some robots. I was fan of fiction, scientific fiction. And I told myself, okay, one day is going to be the right time for launching a company and for having the same kind of hundreds of thousands of people interested in joining this community and helping developing this new world, exploring this new incoming world of robotics. I like this one because it's very smooth motion, it's not very mechanical dance. <coughs> the music by Vangelis about the movie 1492. And finally this robot is nothing but a platform to explore this new world of robotics. <laughs> 